In this video, I'll show you how to set up LM Studio on a virtual machine so you can access it remotely. Head over to Mass Compute, the link's in the description. I use these because I can run LM Studio, and it's like having my own chat GPT. It responds faster than I really need it to. It's like 30 cents an hour, which I think is reasonable. Select the graphic card you want, then Creator, then Matthew Berman, then click Deploy. Whilst it's initializing, we can set up the ThinLink client. This allows you to have like a remote desktop with the virtual machine. Just copy the IP address by clicking here and then paste it into the ThinLink client. Do the same with the password. Okay, now we're just waiting for this to say running. Okay, now that it's running, we click connect. Right. The first thing we need to do is install the latest version of LM Studio. Start Firefox, go to LM Studio's website, and download the Linux version. Once that's downloaded, open the Downloads folder, right-click on the Apps icon, and change the permissions. Double-click the app to launch it. Click this icon to select the model you want to load. For this demo, we're going to use Meta's 3.1 Instruct, select Q8, then click Download. Uh, okay, whilst that's downloading, we're gonna install Caddy. Caddy will allow us to connect to LM Studio remotely. I've put all what you need to copy and paste here in the description. Okay, if that went according to plan, Caddy should be running and allowing us to connect to LM Studio from a remote IP address. We just need to wait for this LLM to download. Okay, now that that's downloaded, we can start the server. We can close this. Click this icon then load the model we just downloaded.
Now click here to start the LM Studio server. We should now be able to connect to the LM Studio server remotely. I'll just copy the IP address of our virtual machine. Paste it in here. Make sure that if you change any of the ports when running Caddy or change the ports on LM Studio's server, that you reflect those changes here. And there you go. Our comment bot is connected to LM Studio's server running on the mast compute virtual machine. The reason I prefer to use LM Studio like this is that it's a lot faster than on my laptop, and you can really start to explore what can be done with these LLMs. Let's change the system prompt. I have one here I prepared earlier. I'll just copy and paste that in there. Modify this prompt slightly. Okay, now that we're up and running and we've set our prompt, let's see what we can do with it. Let me just move this out of the way. Okay, let's search for Keir Starmer, Politics, UK News. For this demonstration, we're gonna leave one comment per video. Here, we're gonna select comments containing keyword. This sets the bot up to look for comments containing certain words or phrases. You can put multiple phrases or keywords if you like. We're gonna use these keywords Keir, Starmer, Democracy, Labor, and Government. So the bot will respond whenever it finds a comment that contains any of those words. We'll set the number of videos to comment on at eight and say, check the first 15 comments for any of the keywords. So we're gonna search for Keir Starmer, politics, UK news. Leave one comment per video that contains any of the words Keir, Starmer, democracy, labor, or government. Comment on eight videos and check the first 15 comments for matches. Check that we are in test mode. We don't want to actually leave any comments as that would violate YouTube's policy. Remember, this is for educational purposes only. First of all, as shown in the previous video, it's going to perform the search, scrape the video links, load the first video, check whether comments are available. It tells you everything it's doing here in this panel. If it comes across a video where comments are disabled, it'll just skip it and move on to the next video now it's gonna start searching through the comments for any of our keywords. You can see it's processing all the comments here. It does it in the same manner as a human would, so as not to arouse suspicion. Okay, so it's found the keyword Starmer. You can see what it does is open the reply and then insert the text waiting for comment from AI. It then sends the original comment and any replies it has to LM Studio with the prompt we added earlier. Here's the AI chatbot window that connects to LM Studio so you can see what's happening. As it reads each comment, checking for any of the phrases or keywords you entered, it checks to see if the comment has any replies, and if it does, it expands the reply section and checks within the replies for a match. If no match is found, it just moves on to the next comment. There are a few options like only reply to specific usernames or reply if a specified username or names hasn't replied. So if you've got a lot of comments to reply to, you could put your own username in and it would reply to the comments on your videos. Now it's found labor. So yeah, there you go. That's what it does. A little creativity with your prompt and yeah, uh, I reckon you could have some fun if you can think of any features to add. I've not actually made it like other comments or like the videos 
it's commenting on. I don't know what features it could benefit from. So any ideas, leave a comment below. Use this responsibly. Don't use it to go affecting elections or other nefarious activities like political activism, campaigning. It's for educational purposes only. The download link is in the description. Enjoy, use wisely, stay safe.